All right, welcome back to another game of Play Action Football. My name is Brian Hafferkamp. I'm the designer and creator of Play Action Football. This is a play-by-play -play football game uh, for the NFL that you can purchase at ClarkAndAddisonGaming.com. I'll be playing a 2007 playoff game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville is on the road at Pittsburgh in January. So never a great place to be, but Jacksonville actually came out with a two-point win in this one. Uh, you can see they are 11-5, 11-5 that season, and uh, we're in the AFC South. Pittsburgh 10-6 and six in the AFC North. Uh, I believe Pittsburgh won the North, or won their playoff spot, and then Jacksonville was a wild card. No, uh, they were both wild cards. This was a wild card game. So, uh, both teams run a 3-4. Uh, we've rolled for the weather. The weather is perfect, uh, so there's no weather adjustments. And there's only a minus one adjustment for the Jaguars on offense. And no, no adjustments for Pittsburgh, as Jacksonville's defense is a minus one. Pittsburgh's offense is a plus one, so those cancel each other out. And that's how it goes. So let's go for the, uh, the old coin toss. Um, we're going to use Pittsburgh for the yellow, and Jacksonville is going to be black. And Pittsburgh wins the coin toss. They're going to elect to receive or defer uh, in this, to the second half. So they'll kick off in the first half to the Jaguars. Uh, we got all of our uh, play calling sheet up here. Uh, we have all of our special teams plays here, so we can look at that for our kickoffs. Uh, if you don't know how to play this, I'm not going to go through it because there's a very extensive uh, playlist on this channel about this game. So uh, we've got three seasons, 2007, 2023, which was the season we just passed, and then um, 2000, or 1985, so classic season, especially if you're a Bears fan. So uh, with, we do the kickoffs this way. <coughs> It'll be the team kicking off and the team receiving. So the kickoff is a 10. A 10 on the kickoff is going to be 60 yards. So that goes down to the 5. And then the team receiving will have a run back here. 6 is going to be 28 yards plus a D10 on the return. So we have kickoffs here. We have punting here. Uh, we have sort of some special plays over here. Coaches challenges. If there's an offensive or defensive penalty, and then if there's a fumble or an interception. So these are sort of our uh, catch-all special plays, and then most of the plays are going to come off of the team sheets. Uh, so a 6 is going to be a 28-yard return plus a D10. So 28 plus 3 is going to be 31 yards on the return, and that'll be excellent field position. 10, 20, 31, I said, right? Out to the 36-yard line. <clears throat> so 60 on the kickoff and 31 on the return all right and this handy dandy sheet here is going to help us just keep track of all of the individual plays there's a little space here to do some uh, totals and calculations for both passing and rushing uh, basically we have 30 rushes set up and 60 passes so it should cover you in the modern game. If you're playing older seasons, you might wind up going into the 40s or 50s for rushes. So um, maybe, I don't know if I could set it up that way for older seasons. Um, but surprisingly, in older seasons, like 1985, they get back in the shotgun, they throw the ball. It's, uh, it's interesting to watch football play throughout the seasons. 85 is a more modern season than it than it seems uh, So we have our play chart here and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll off the offensive play chart and Then we're gonna have the defensive. We're gonna use our two d sixes for that So it'll tell us by down and distance what our play is gonna be there. We'll see if there's any defense effect uh, based off of what the offense and the defense are together and then uh, we have goal line plays as well on the back side for when we get inside the 10. Uh, this game, I've seen uh, the betas for um, 
season ticket football. Clay does a great job of making games. I mean, he's been doing this a really long time since I was a little kid. So, excellent game maker. And um, I just want to put this one out there because maybe it'll get a little traction while everybody's looking at football right now uh, for that beta. And you can see between them uh, which, if this is a game that you would like to do, like I said, there's three seasons out already for this. And I'm continually going to be working on more seasons for that. So I'm going to roll all of our dice at the same time. So we're going to have our play dice. And then with these two, we're going to figure out what happens on the play itself. Uh, that's where our adjustments come in. Jacksonville has a minus one adjustment on this roll. Uh, and that's going to be uh, affecting any of the plays over here. So Jacksonville is going to run a short pass. It's first down and 10. So this is going to be a short pass against a base defense. Their base defense, both teams run a 3-4 base defense. So uh, that's going to be helpful just in terms of the speed of the game. And so a short pass against a 3-4 is going to be an extra minus 1. So it'll be minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 on a short pass is a D6 plus 2. And that's going to be a 7-yard gain on first down. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, out to the 43. We take 30 seconds off the clock, and it's second down. So, you can see here, it's uh, 30 seconds for rushes, completed passes, interceptions, and sacks. 15 seconds for incomplete passes, kickoffs, punts, field goals. I guess we should have done 15 seconds for the kickoff. And then all plays that are less than two minutes in the second and fourth quarters are going to be just 15 seconds. So second down and three for the Jags. Uh, they're going to run a, another short pass, this time against the base defense as well. So another minus one. So minus two, basically we can take that out. It's going to be a seven. Seven on a short pass is going to be incomplete. So that's going to bring up third down and short. Only 15 seconds off the clock there. Third down and short from their own 43. Jacksonville looking to convert on their first drive of the game. This will be a deep ball. And that's going to come against the nickel defense. And that will be a minus two. So minus three total. Basically take this away. The seven. This is going to be a quarterback hurry on a deep pass. And that will be an incompletion. So that's going to bring up uh, fourth down. And the Jaguars are going to punt here. So we got our punting here as well, just like our kickoffs, we have our punting. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do the, the punt first, and that's going to be 45 yards. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 5. So let's see about the return. Oh, it's a big one. A 10 is going to be a 30-yard return. So 10, 20, 30. So out to the 42 is where Pittsburgh is going to take over. They took over at their own 42. <clears throat> so 45 on the punt. 30 on the return. Net 15, which is good for Pittsburgh. Not so good for, <laughs> not so good for uh, Jacksonville. All right, so Pittsburgh, when they come up, uh, they have no initial adjustments. Um, only whatever the adjustments are for the defense. So Pittsburgh, first and 10, they're going to run an inside run against a base defense. That's a pretty good play. That's going to be a plus one. So we have a 16 plus one is 17 on the inside run. Is a D6 plus eight. That's good for 12 yards up the gut. And that will be a first down. So 10... 11, tw oh, sorry, we're here, so 10, 11, 12, out across midfield and to the 46-yard line, I'm sorry, the 36-yard line, 46-yard line. <clears throat> uh, it'll take me a minute to get back into the flow of this, I haven't played this for a few months. Um, medium pass against a base defense that's going to be minus two to the defense so this will be uh, 15 minus 2 is 13 
on a medium pass is going to be good for 12 yards. So good pick up there. 10, 12, and it'll be another first down. As Roethlisberger has them going down the field. Uh, screen pass against a base blitz. Uh, screen against a blitz is going to be a zero. And so that's going to be a five. Five on a screen uh, is a pass deflection. So that'll be the first incompletion for Big Ben and the offense. And that brings up second down and ten. Second and ten, it will be a deep ball against a base blitz. So the deep ball against a blitz is going to be a minus one. So six minus one is five. Five on the deep pass is going to be a sack for a loss of one yard. So Jacksonville gets its first sack. And we're going to say... Sack here for minus one. And we take 30 seconds off the clock for a sack since it's a running clock play. And that's going to bring up third and 11. So we have a, a draw play against a base blitz. The draw against a blitz is going to be a plus one. So this could be a good play here. 18 plus one is 19 on a draw. And that's going to be a D10 plus 15. And that's going to be a 25-yard gain on the draw play as they take it down 10, 20, and then 5 takes it inside the 10. So it'll be second and goal from the 9-yard line. I mean, uh, first and goal from the 9-yard line. So a 25-yard run. Picks up the first down. Nice play there from Pittsburgh as they opened a little bit of a hole. We got our uh, goal line plays here. <clears throat> so the goal line chart introduces a goal line um, defense to the defensive play calls. And it also gets rid of any deep passes. So everything is short, medium, screen passes, draw plays, uh, inside, outside runs. Uh, a three is going to be an outside run. That's going to be against a base blitz. And that will be a minus one to the defense. So seven minus one is six. <clears throat> six on the outside run is going to be a zero. So that's going to bring up second down as Jacksonville makes a good play on the outside. 10.45 left in the quarter. Uh, second down, this is going to be a medium pass against a base blitz. That's another minus one. Uh, this will be six minus one is five. Five on the medium pass is going to be another sack. So second sack of the game for Jacksonville. And that is another sack for minus one. <clears throat> so that's going to bring up uh, third and ten. Or third and goal, I guess, from the ten. And Pittsburgh in danger of stalling out. Third and... Uh, 1 to 10, so we have an outside run against a base blitz. That's going to be a minus 1 to the defense. Defense looking good here. Uh, 5 on an outside run is a tackle for loss. As, uh, that will be minus 2 yards. <clears throat> so they try to get to the outside, and they get dropped for the loss. Um, that's going to lead to a field goal attempt. It'll be fourth down and goal from the 12. Um, we have field goals right here somewhere. Oh, field goals are on the... They're here. Okay, so <laughs> we have them broken down by distance. Uh, this is going to be a 22-29 yard field goal, so we're in this. It's all good. And so we don't even need to roll. That's going to be a three points for a 29-yard field goal. Wrong team. It's Pittsburgh. 29-yard field goal, and they take a three-to-nothing lead. 15 seconds off the clock. Reset them for the kickoff. <clears throat> and Pittsburgh 
with a drive that stalls out inside the 10, but they do get on the board. For Pittsburgh, the kickoff is going to be 63 yards. So that's going to be uh, 61 to 3. And then the return is a 9. 9 is going to be 23 yards on the return. Takes it out to the 25. So 63 and 25. Alright, first and 10 for the Jags. They're down 3 nothing in this one. Take 15 off there. 9-15 left in the first quarter. Don't know how much of the game we'll be able to get through. I need to... I've only got about an hour-ish to play. Which should get us through maybe the first half so <laughs> that'll be our goal is to get through the first half uh so jacksonville on offense uh they're gonna run a medium pass against a blitz or sorry a base defense yeah medium against a base is gonna be a minus two plus the minus one is minus three and so that's really gonna be a 12 12 on a medium pass is gonna be d10 plus seven so still a chance at a good game and D10 plus 7 is going to be good for 13 yards. So 10, 13. And that brings up first down. <clears throat> On the nice pitch and catch there. Uh, we also have a player finder here. Like if you wanted to find out who the player, the catch went to. It went to uh, Lewis for Jacksonville. I don't know who Lewis is. You, If you know the player's better than I do. You can keep track of their individual statistics as well. Um, <clears throat> second down, or first down and 10. Got, we're at 8.45 left in the quarter. It's uh, an inside run to a base defense. Uh, that'll be a plus one. So with this minus one, that makes it a zero. And that's a good one to hit on a zero. 17 on an inside run. Is that right? Yeah, 17 on an inside run is a D6 plus 8. So 14 yards on the run. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Takes it across midfield to the 48-yard line of Pittsburgh. <clears throat> Brings up uh, first and 10 from the Pittsburgh side of the field. Jacksonville driving. They stalled out on their first one and had to punt. Uh, we got a screen pass against a base defense that is a minus one, so it becomes a minus two. Uh, nine minus two is seven. Seven on a screen is going to be incomplete. <clears throat> Brings up second down. On the second and ten play, it's going to be an inside run to a base defense. So that evens out this number here, so a zero. And 19 on an inside run, that's good. D10 plus 8. And that's going to be a 17-yard run as they go up the gut for a first down. So 17 on the pickup, 10 plus 7. And that takes it down to the Pittsburgh 31. <clears throat> first and 10 from the Pittsburgh 31. It'll be a medium pass against a base blitz. Uh, that is a minus one, so minus two. 12 minus two is 10. 10 on the medium pass for Jacksonville is a quarterback hurry. Uh, again, you could run, you could roll for the quarterback hurry as well. Uh, that would go to, um, I like to use uh, the sacks for the quarterback hurries. So an eight, that would be Woodley. With the hurry so you can do that as well uh, you could mark hurries if you wanted to um, if not don't worry about it brings up second down and 10 from the pittsburgh 31 it is a short pass against a base blitz short against the blitz is a zero but with the defense adjustment here uh, basically we take away this one and that becomes an eight eight on the short pass for jacksonville is going to be another quarterback hurry as the defense gets to him and causes the incompletion. And we got third down and 10 from the 31. Need a play here. This is going to be a short pass against a base blitz. And that'll be a zero 
adjustment for the defense, but a minus one here. So 16 minus one is 15. 15 on the short pass is a D10 plus two. So they're gonna need at least, um, they're gonna need at least an eight on here <laughs> to be able to make the first down. It's a one and that's not gonna get it done as that's a three yard pickup on third down and that takes it down to the 28 yard line. It's not even uh, close enough to measure or go for it or anything else. So we're gonna go for the field goal here. That's gonna be a 38, 45 yard field goal. Uh, 40 to 49, they're only, you know, they're only at 50%. So let's see if they can hit. Uh, they need a six. Six to 10 is a make. Anything less than six is a miss. It's an eight, and that's up and through for a 45-yard field goal. And that evens the game at three. 15 seconds off the clock. And we reset everything here. All right, good game so far. We are uh, at 6.15 left in the quarter. First quarter, tied at three. The kickoff is a four. That's going to be a touchback, so no need to roll for anything there. Uh, four is a touchback, and they take over at the 25-yard line. Uh, no time off the clock for a touchback. And it'll be Pittsburgh ball. Pittsburgh first and 10. This will be a short pass against a base blitz and that's a zero. So a 12 on a short pass is good for six yards. So Roethlisberger connects for six and that takes the ball out to the 31 yard line. Brings up second down at four from Pittsburgh's 31. We're in the first quarter of this playoff game between Pittsburgh and Jacksonville. This is an inside run against a base defense. So that's gonna be a plus one. So 12 plus one is 13. And that's a D6 plus three yards. That gives it an eight yard gain. And Pittsburgh with the first down on the eight yard rush. So good run up the middle. Who is that? That is Parker up the middle. Again, not very familiar with the uh, Steelers back then. If I was playing the Vikings, I'd know who the players are. But um, We have a six. This is going to be a screen pass against a base defense. And against a three, four, a screen's not a great play. As it'll be a minus one. So four minus one is three. Three on a screen is going to go for zero yards. So it'll be completion, a completion but a completion for no yardage. That'll bring up second down and 10. <clears throat> uh, inside, outside run, sorry, outside run to a base blitz. Uh, so that's a minus one, so could be trouble. Three minus one is two, two on the outside run. That's a tackle for loss, and we have to roll the D10 to find out. <laughs> oh, could be bad. It's a minus nine, youch. And that takes it back to the 30. So he just kept running backwards. And that really blew up that play. Brings up third down and forever. Uh, third down and um, 10, 19. Third and 19. Oof. Third down and 19. This will be a deep ball against a nickel defense. So deep against a nickel defense is a minus two. Uh, 18 minus two is 16. 16 on a deep Paul is D10 plus 20. So a chance here. And that's a 30 yard gain. Youch. Jacksonville. That's not good, brother. So a 30 yard gain is going to give Pittsburgh the first down. 10, 20, 30. Takes it out to the Jacksonville 40 as Pittsburgh crosses midfield on that big play. Uh, this will be an outside run against a base defense. And that's a zero. 
So a 10 on an outside run is good for four yards. <clears throat> Three fifteen left in the first quarter. It's going to be second down and six from the Jacksonville thirty-six. Yeah, hopefully, we're if I can lighten things up a little bit, but yeah, that's a little better. Um, so we have second down and six. This is an inside run to a base defense. So that'd be a plus one. Eighteen plus one is nineteen. On the inside run, that's a D10 plus 8. And so that's good for 13 yards. 10 and 13. All the way down to the Jacksonville 23. Go the, uh, the Steelers. The Steelers carving them up, but last time they stalled out once they got inside the 10-yard line. Let's see if they can just go ahead and throw one in the end zone. This will be an outside run against a base defense, and that's a 0. Uh, 10 on an outside run is good for 4 yards. So consistent movement here from the Pittsburgh offense. It's going to bring up 2nd down and 6 from the Jacksonville 19. <clears throat> we got an inside run against a base. That's a plus 1. So 11 on the inside run is D6 plus 2. And so that's a good 6 yard run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um... Not going to challenge here, but we could. That's going to be a first down pickup. Whenever the run or the pass is right to the sticks, like right on the number that they need for a first down, yeah, the defense can challenge to see if they um, to see if they pick up the first down or not. You may not want to do that with historic seasons. I don't think they had the challenge system in 2007, uh, but maybe they did. I can't remember. So we've got a first down and 10. They can technically get a first down without getting a touchdown. So this will be a medium pass against a base defense. And that's going to be a minus two to the offense or minus two to the defense, I guess. So 14 minus two is 12. 12 on a medium pass is a D10 plus seven. So they need 13. So they need this to be at least a 6 for a touchdown. It is a 6, and that's going to be a TD. So a touchdown pass from Roethlisberger to Heinz Ward for 13 yards. And I'll mark that with a circle just to let me know that is a touchdown. And uh, the extra points are all good here, so they have... 100% on their extra points. And so no need to really kick that. So that's going to be 30 seconds off the clock. And so first down, going back the other way. So 10-3 is our score as Roethlisberger with the strike to Heinz Ward for the touchdown. Kickoff, don't need these. Kickoff is a 3. 3 is going to be a touchback. So out to the 25. Goes the Jacksonville offense. No need to move the clock on a touchback. So Jacksonville comes out on offense. They're down by a touchdown. 10-3 is our score. We have a minute and 15 seconds left in the first quarter of this playoff game from 2007 between Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Uh, five is going to be a short pass against a base defense. So that is a minus one, becomes a minus two. Five minus two is three. Three on a short pass is a sack for minus six yards. So we're going to say minus six yards. Take this. First sack from the Pittsburgh defense. And that's going to bring up second down and 16 for Jacksonville from deep inside their own territory. Let's see what they do. This would be a medium pass against a nickel blitz. Medium against a nickel blitz is a zero. So that's just the normal minus one adjustment. And that'll be a six. Six on a medium pass is going to be a quarterback hurry. As the Steelers pin their ears back and attack. 
Third down and deep. This will be a deep ball against a nickel. Deep against a nickel is a minus two, plus the minus one is minus three. 12 minus three is a nine. Nine on a deep pass is gonna be incomplete as Jacksonville can't connect on that deep ball. It's gonna bring up fourth down and forever. Uh, They're going to punt. For Jacksonville, the punt is a two, just a 25 yard kick. Ouch, 10, 20, and five. And for the return, it's a nine. That's a 23 yard return. So 10, 20, and three down to the 21 yard line as Pittsburgh with a nice return on that play. That's gonna take us to the end of the quarter with a score 10 to three, but uh, Jacksonville, not a good punt there. Uh, 25 on the kick, 23 on the return, a net of two yards for that kick, uh, that punt. That'll be the end of the first quarter. It's 10-3, our score. As Pittsburgh has the ball, and they are in very, very good position to score some more points. So first and 10 for the Steelers offense. It is a two, that's gonna be a medium pass against a base defense. So that's not the best play against the three, four, that's a minus two. So 18 minus two is 16. 16 on a medium pass is a D10 plus 12. And that's gonna be 21 yards. And that is a score right to the goal line. Oh boy, they get it down to the corner of the end zone, reach out, hit the pylon, and that's a 21-yard TD. Last two passes for Roethlisberger has been touchdowns. That one goes to Parker, and he comes out of the backfield, I believe, and makes a play as he reaches out at the goal line and hits the pylon for a touchdown. So that gives uh, Pittsburgh the 17-3 lead. And this one looking real bad for Jacksonville if they don't make a play. At some point here, we are just into the second quarter. Uh, for the kickoff, that's going to be a touchback. So Jacksonville, again, will take over. I think they've had two of these. Jacksonville will take over at their own 25. First and 10. First down play is going to be a screen pass against a base defense. That uh, will be a minus two total. So a seven on a screen pass is going to be incomplete. As Jacksonville just not able to get anything going here. Brings up second down and 10. And a four on second down will be a medium pass against a base blitz. So maybe a chance here. Medium against a blitz is a minus one. That'll be a minus two overall. 13 minus two is 11. 11 on a medium pass for Jacksonville is a D10 plus six. Let's see if this can get them going. Uh, just a seven yard gain. Takes it out to the 32. That'll bring up third down. As they did get the completion there. It was completed to Northcutt, Dennis Northcutt. Brings up third down and short. Uh, this will be another medium pass, and that comes against a base defense. So minus two, minus three, uh, 18 minus three is 15. So a nice high roll. Medium pass is gonna be a D10 plus 10. So that's good for 13 yards, and a nice pickup there as they get the first down on third and short. 13 15 left in the half. Uh, 13 yard gain. And that's going to bring up first and 10 for Jacksonville as they pick up the first down from uh, deep in their territory. A medium pass against a base defense um, is a minus three total. So six minus three is three on a medium pass. That's a sack. Um, second sack of the game, and that's going to go for minus 10. Youch. Ah, oh, boy. They're shooting themselves in the foot here. 
and Jacksonville is going to be at second down and 20. Second and long, this is a medium pass against a nickel defense. And that'll be a minus one, minus two overall. So nine minus two is seven, and that's going to be an incompletion. It's going to bring up third down and 20 for Jacksonville. Not going to purport to tell them what to do, but they do throw a deep pass. This is what I would have done against a base blitz. So maybe there's a chance here. Uh, a deep pass against a base blitz is a minus one. And with their adjustment, it's a minus two. Nine minus two is seven. Seven on the deep pass is going to be a quarterback hurry as the receiver can't come open in time. And that's going to lead to an incomplete pass. Brings up fourth down and 20. It's going to be a punt for Jacksonville as the Pittsburgh defense came to play today. Uh, seven on a punt is going to be 45 yards. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and five. Oh, look at that. It was right there. And on the return, it's going to be a three. Three is going to be a fair catch. So 45 yards with a fair catch means Pittsburgh takes over at their own 20. Uh, 15 seconds off the clock. And we have... 12 minutes left in the half. Pittsburgh is going to take over first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Uh, six is going to be a screen pass against a base defense. That's a minus one. 11 minus one is 10. 10 on a screen is going to be good for D6. And that's a six yard pickup. Brings up second down and four from the 26 yard line of Pittsburgh. <clears throat> this will be a short pass against a base defense. So another minus one. 16 minus one is 15 on a short pass is good for seven yards. So 10, 9, 8, 7 out to the 33 yard line. First down pass there from Roethlisberger to Miller. I believe Miller was the tight end. Uh, first down, this will be a medium pass against a base defense. So a minus two on the offense's roll. 10 minus two is eight. Eight is going to be an incompletion. So the rare incompletion for Big Ben and the offense brings up second down and 10 from their own 33. Pittsburgh leading this one 17 to three. Um... Not just into the second quarter, but almost to the midway point of the quarter. Uh, second down is going to be a medium pass against a nickel defense. That's a minus one. So 14 on a medium pass is a D10 plus eight. And that's going to be good for 18 yards. Nice pick up there. So 10, 20, 19, 18 takes it out to the 49 yard line. And that'll bring up first and 10, 18 yard pickup there from Roethlisberger is a first down play. <clears throat> first and 10, this will be a screen pass against a base defense. And that's a minus one. Oh, it's a 20, 20 leads to a breakout play, but we didn't have that because of that minus one. So 20 is a 19, 19 on a screen pass is gonna be D10 plus D10. We add these together, we get a 14, and that's a nice pickup there. 10, uh, 14, puts the ball at the Jacksonville 35 yard line. And the Pittsburgh offense is just carving today. Uh, this will be a medium pass against a base defense. It's a minus two. Another high roll here though, 16 minus two is 14. On the medium pass is uh, D10 plus 8. That's good for 16 more. 10, uh, 5, 6. Takes it down to the 19-yard line of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Who was that to? That pass goes to uh, Holmes. Holmes, the wide receiver, 2 in. 
Heinz Ward were a good connection for Roethlisberger. Outside run, this is against a base blitz. Uh, that's a minus one to the defense. So 13 minus one is 12 on the outside run, D6 plus two. And even on those, it's a seven yard gain. <laughs> Takes it down to the 12, brings up uh, second down and three. And just everything clicking and working for the Pittsburgh offense in this one. Uh, second down, this is going to be an outside run against the base. Um, that's a zero. Uh, a 19 on an outside run is D6 plus 10. And that's going to be good for 15 yards, and that is a run into the end zone. As uh, it's Parker who takes the ball into the end zone for six. And... The route is on in this one as Jacksonville finds themselves down 24-3 with eight, about eight minutes left in the first half. Might have to intervene and try to help them out here. <coughs> the kickoff is a one that's going to be 67 yards, so two yards deep in the end zone. Um, I'm going to try to run that out. When it goes in the end zone, you sort of want to make a, cho a choice about whether you want to run it out or not. I'm going to try to run it out. Uh, a 7 is going to be 30 yards plus a D10. So 33 yards on the return. 2 yards deep in the end zone. That means it comes out to the 31-yard line. So it'll be 1st and 10 at the 31-yard line. So we go 67 and 33 so 65 yards when you're kicking off from the 35 is to the goal line so 67 is two yards deep first and 10 jacksonville they have the ball they're down by 21 and they need to kick it into high gear uh, they need some high rolls is what they need they got an outside run against a base defense that's a good start, just a minus one. Uh, 13 on an outside run is good for five yards, and that's a good start to the drive. They've had a lot of incomplete passes, um, but they have a second and manageable situation, second and five. Uh, this will be a short pass against a base blitz. So that's a zero. That means just their regular minus one adjustment. 18 on the short pass is going to be D10 plus 5. They need a big roll here. And they don't really get it. Uh, 9 though, so that's 10, 9. That takes it out to the 45 yard line. It does bring up first down on that pickup. So 9 yard pickup for a first down. And that's going to take us to uh, 7 minutes left in the half. Jacksonville driving from their own 45 yard line. A four on first down inside run against a base defense is a plus one, so that negates this. So 10 on an inside run is good for four yards as they're putting together a little bit of a drive here. Uh, looks good, looks good. Second down and six for the Jags. Uh, medium pass against a base blitz is a minus one, so that's a minus two overall. 13 minus two is an 11 on a medium pass right yes 11 on a medium pass is a completion d10 plus 6 they get a big roll here that's good for 14 so 10 uh, 10 11 12 13 14 takes it down to the Pittsburgh 37 so nice play there on Second down and medium. Six minutes left in the half. First and ten for Jacksonville. So they're driving. This is a medium pass against a base defense. Uh, it's right into the teeth of it. It'll be a minus three overall. Nine minus three is six. And six on the medium pass is going to be a quarterback hurry. So an incompletion there. Brings up second down and ten for the Jaguars. 
Inside run against a nickel, this could be really good. Plus two actually gives them a positive number for once. So plus two gives, with the adjustment is a plus one. Uh, so 14, 15 on the inside run, two D6s together is a 10. So that's a 10 yard run for first down. <clears throat> and Jacksonville, Jacksonville finally moving the ball here. As they got to get on it. They've got one field goal and they really need a uh, touchdown here to sort of keep pace with this Steelers offense. Uh, it's an inside run against a base. So even Steven here. A 15 on an inside run. Two D6s again. Uh, seven yards on the gain. Takes it down to the 20. It's going to bring up third down and three. So picking up pretty good chunks of yards here. Third and or second down and three from the Pittsburgh 20. Uh, this is going to be a medium pass against a base defense. That'll be a minus three overall. So eight minus three is five. Five on a medium pass is another sack. This will be the third sack of the half. That's for minus five. Could be a drive killer as sacks often will do that to your team. So it takes it back to the 25 yard line. It is third down and 12. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, third and eight. Third down and eight, so not third and long. Uh, we've got a short pass against a base blitz is a zero. So our normal minus one adjustment, 14 minus one is 13. 13 on a short pass is a D6 plus 4. Now they need um, they need 8 yards. So they need this to be at least a 4. A 4, 5, or 6. They pick up the first down. It's a 1. And that's not going to do much for them. Um, that will be 5 yards on the pickup. Takes it down to the 20. And that's going to bring up 4th down and 3. <clears throat> And I think you just got to get some points here when you can get some points. Hoping for turnovers or something like that. Or for the uh, Pittsburgh offense to stall out a little. Um, don't need this. We need our uh, kicking chart. So 20 plus 17 is 37. That's in this. And we don't even need to kick it. That's up and good from 37 yards. And the Jaguars get on the board in the second quarter. <clears throat> So Jacksonville kicking off. Uh, we have three and a half minutes left in the half. Our score is 24-6. Pittsburgh so far has this one in hand. A five on a kickoff is going to be a touchback. So Pittsburgh will take over at their own 25-yard line. I'm not playing fast. This is just how fast the game plays, uh, quite honestly. You see a lot of variability. And uh, when we get to the final stats in this one, you'll see how closely things come out. Um, Pittsburgh first and 10. Once we get inside two minutes here, it's a little bit discolored. I don't know if you can see that or not on the uh, screen, but it's got a little bit of a coloration and that just helps you to remember the inside two minutes things get a little bit slower so all 15 second plays unless you want it to be a long play like you're just trying to run the clock out which you can make that decision yourself so first and 10 uh for pittsburgh three and a half minutes left in the half they're gonna run a screen pass against a blitz and that will be a zero uh, so an 11 on a screen pass is going to be a D6 plus 1. And that's good for 7 yards. Takes it out to the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second down and 3 with 3 minutes left. Uh, 7. <clears throat> and uh, if you ever want to run 2-minute offense or so, like if we wanted to run 2-minute offense right now, we could. Uh, there's not really a need to do that in the first half uh, when you're up by, I don't know, 19, whatever they're up by. <clears throat> um, but at any point, you can say, I'm going to be in the hurry-up offense. 
or I'm going to be in the two minute offense and just take 15 seconds off for each play. Uh, knowing that if you do that, you know, you, you can leave the other team time or, you know, there's lots of different things that could happen if you do that. Second down and three for Pittsburgh from their own 32. And this will be a short pass against a base. That's a minus one. Uh, so 15 minus one is 14 on a short pass is D6 plus four. So that's good for seven yards. And that'll be a first down for the Pittsburgh offense, which really hasn't been stopped in this game. They have no punts. Um, seven yards for first down. It's first and 10 Pittsburgh from their own 39. Two and a half minutes left in the half. Uh, three is going to be an outside run to a base. So that's a zero. Uh, six on an outside run is good for no yards, but uh, it takes 30 seconds off the clock. Takes us down to the two minute warning. And that'll bring up second down <clears throat> and whatnot. So each play is going to be 15 seconds from here. No need necessarily for me to buck that trend and just run the, the clock out. Uh, it's first half. If it was the second half, I'd just be running the clock out. Um, but you can never have too many points. That's what Mike Tomlin says. Um, for, uh, second down, it will be an outside run to a base defense. Again, another zero. 13 on the outside run is good for five yards. 15 seconds, so basically you're just kind of uh, simulating a hurry up. Uh, five yards takes it here. Brings up third down and five. And this will be a medium pass against a base defense. That's a minus two. So five minus two is three. Three on a medium pass is going to be a sack. And that sack is going to be for minus five yards. So that's going to take... Um, they're going to take the full time there and just stroll up to the line. They're not going to hurry. So a sack for minus five. That is the third sack of the game for the Jackson Bell defense. Takes them back to the 39 and we're going to have fourth down. That'll be a punt as the Jackson Bell defense holds. The punt is a 10. 10 on a punt is good for 60 yards, a boomer. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's down to the one. And uh, let's see about a return. An eight. Uh, eight on the return is 18 yards. So it takes it out to the 19 yard line. So try not to think about these things in absolutes all the time. Uh, would you catch it at the one? Probably not, but we're really looking at the total of the kick. So 60, their first kick of the game, 60 yards, and the return is 18. So first and 10, Jacksonville. They don't have much time left. They do have some, they have three timeouts, uh, which you have your timeouts here. So let's see, maybe they can hit on something. I'm just going to call some plays. Uh, first and 10, we're going to call um, a medium pass. See if we can hit on something uh, so we can sort of avoid that. A medium pass against a base blitz. Um, medium against a blitz is a minus one, so minus two overall. 12 minus two is 10. 10 on a medium pass is a quarterback hurry. That's an incompletion. And that's going to bring up second down and 10. Let's try to hit on a deep ball. Deep pass against a base defense or base blitz. Deep against a base blitz is a minus one, so minus two overall. Five minus two is three. Three on a deep pass is going to be another sack, uh, this time for minus six. That's one, uh, four sacks in the game in the first half. And we're just going to let this one, uh, we're just going to let this one run out. They're not going to do anything else. Um, Pittsburgh's going to receive the ball in the second half. And we're just going to say that Pittsburgh runs that one out for the last 45 seconds. So 30 seconds, whatever it is. So at halftime, it's going to be 24-6 is our score. 
and uh, things looking real rough here for the Jaguars. So they've only completed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of 24 passing. So uh, not so good. Not so good for the Jacksonville offense. Uh, a little bit more balance to Pittsburgh. Um, Big Ben in the first half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of 18 in the first half. And uh, looking real good from there into the field. It's 24 to 6. Let's check our time. See how we're doing here. That took 55 minutes. Um, maybe we can squeeze out another quarter here and see. I don't have time for another 55 minutes, but uh, maybe I have time. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to stop it right there and just do half and half. Uh, so that's the first half of this playoff game. Uh, 24 to 6 is our score. Um, Pittsburgh over Jacksonville. Yet at Heinz Field. <clears throat> this was played in 2007. You can see this is our 2007 cards. Uh, Pittsburgh comes into the game 10 and 6, and uh, Jacksonville's regular season 11 and 5. Uh, both good teams, and you can see here that this was uh, James Ferrier and uh, Casey Hampton. I see some Harrison here, Taylor Palomalu um, on offense, Parker is their main running back. Heinz Ward, Fanica is on this team. Um, Miller was a tight end. Holmes. Uh, so you can see some of the players here for Pittsburgh, for Jacksonville. Um, on offense, uh, you have Mercedes Lewis, uh, the tight end. Uh, Fred Taylor was a running back. Um, just some names in here. Jones, I remember faintly. Uh, Dennis Northcutt, longtime receiver um, on defense. Maybe you recognize some of these names. Uh, Mathis in the defensive backfield. Um, Stroud at the defensive tackle. Don't know who Spicer was, but he was sort of leading the team in sacks. And uh, Jones Drew in the backfield as well. David Gerard was a quarterback. So uh, this is play action football. If you want to check out some of the seasons, we have three seasons available. So 2023, the most recent NFL season. Uh, this one, 2007 and 1985 as well. So you can go check those out at ClarkAndAddisonGaming.com. I'll put the link directly to the play action football <clears throat> play action football page, so that you can see and uh, choose. If you want to purchase a set, you can purchase there on that page, or you can uh, download the free demo. So there's a free demo of the last four teams from 2023, uh, so the AFC and NFC championship uh, teams. <clears throat> you can play those out. Uh, you get almost everything uh, that you see here, and you're going to get the score sheet and the clock, and the game guide is included. You'll get the four teams, uh, and each team card is just basically a sheet. And then uh, you'll get the plays uh, that are normalized for that season. So they'll be normalized for 2023. You can see here that these are for 2007. And basically what we're doing is we're trying to, trying to get close to uh, the percentages of run, pass, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes with the penalties as well, like targeting, that's more of a modern one. I can't remember if I took that out, but there is a, there's a sort of a leading with the head kind of thing from before that you couldn't do. Uh, but they have an official term targeting now, which I don't think that existed uh, before. But penalties don't happen. They're pretty rare. They have to, it has to be whenever you go less than two or greater than 20, which does happen. It happens a little bit more often uh, when teams are mismatched. But occasionally if you roll low or high and there's some sort of adjustment as well, then you'll, you'll run into a penalty situation. But uh, this game here, uh, we're at halftime. 
and it's 24-6. We'll leave it here and then come back and play the second half and see how this one turns out. The actual score was 31-29, I believe, uh, Jacksonville over Pittsburgh. So some stuff's going to have to happen to, uh, to make that happen in this game. Uh, as Pittsburgh has had some really good field position uh, here on some, you know, that was a kickoff, or that was a punt, sorry, 25 and 23. So, so they've had some excellent field position here, just a 15-yard net on this punt and a 2-yard net on that punt. This one came from deep inside the territory. Pittsburgh didn't have to do much here to, to throw a touchdown. In fact, it was here. It was the next play, 21 yards. So Ben Roethlisberger, is, uh, he's got two touchdowns. He's 11 of 18, two TDs, a 13, and a 21-yard touchdown. And uh, one of those to Heinz Ward, one to Parker. And, uh, yeah, this one a bit of a route. Let's see if David Gerard can lead the offense back. Maybe getting more into uh, calling some running plays for them would help them out. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, just looking at their offense. Maybe, maybe just calling some more running plays would be helpful for them. I can't really tell there um, when I compare them. It's not obvious to me that they're... Pittsburgh has a little bit more explosive offense. I can see they have like a deeper pass range here yards per catch so Pittsburgh really the better team I think here and uh, we'll see how this one turns out in the second half if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comments section if you like this content and the content that we're providing consider sharing it with your community uh, if you click that little thumbs up that's a super easy way to uh, support what we're doing here and if you like if you want to keep coming back here <laughs> Uh, why not subscribe? Uh, that helps us out. It helps you by not having to search and figure out, did we post a new video? Usually post a few videos a week uh, when things are normal and not moving around or vacationing or anything like that. So uh, I want to, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want to commit to more, you know, creating more seasons for what I have once I get the baseball game out. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't stop making games, so that's part of it. I was replaying uh, the golf game that I have from before, trying to see, like, are there some rough edges to it that need to be smoothed out? But it actually is pretty fun, and it plays pretty well. A couple of people have been asking about the golf game. So I almost put that on the channel here this morning. Uh, but I thought, well, I'll do a football game. I just released... Um, the up tempo game for 23-24 season 23 2023-24 um and so you can purchase that at the website uh, clarkandaddisongaming.com so i am putting out stuff uh things are new i am working on things behind the scenes sometimes it feels like i'm a little slower on things people are still testing precision baseball otherwise that one is pretty good um, and I think basically ready to go. I just need to create some more things for that. Uh, but the game itself, I think, is is ready to go. No, but no major obstacles or things that people are saying should be changed. So that one to me feels like it's on the road. And um, I'm hoping before the baseball season is out that that will be published for the 2023 baseball season. And um, I'll keep working on seasons for uh, the football game. It's hard for me sometimes so when the season is not going. I'm not very excited. And when I look at the process of creating this, the seasons for this game, uh, it's a bit of a process. Um, some of it is automated. Some of it is not. And so it's just kind of a bit of a process to get into. And, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm not feeling fall in the air i live in chicago so you know at some point fall hits the air itself and you begin to feel like okay it's all right it's football season i'm starting to make a transition uh if the cubs are out of it 
if the Braves are ever out of it, you know, I'm sort of making the transition into football season. Uh, but the spring OTAs, it's a little bit hard for me to make that transition. That's not really football season to me. Uh, football season comes in August and September. So that's really when it feels football-y to me. Um, I don't know if the Braves are going to be in it this year. They're going to have to turn things around, hit the ball. I don't know. It's frustrating watching them on offense. So <laughs> it's super frustrating. Anyway, um, first world problems, right? When your team doesn't hit. Uh, so football will be coming soon. I'll get more jazzed about that as we get deeper into the summer. And maybe I can do another classic season. Uh, I'm, I've overwhelmed myself trying to do some other things like changing the cards. So I think I'm just going to need to just pump out some, some seasons. So maybe the things that I want to do will be kind of supplemental as opposed to, um, it's part of the normal cards. Uh, this setup is fine. Uh, it works fine. And a lot of gamers have said that they've really enjoyed this game, that it's, uh, it plays well, plays smooth. Um, it's one of their favorite football games to play. So if you want to try it out, seriously, go to the Clark and Addison gaming company, uh, website. Um, I'll put the link to this, this collection for the play action football and you can look on there. And one of those, uh, options that you see is going to be free and that's the free demo. So download the demo, print out the cards, just print them on, you don't have to print them on cardstock if you don't want to. Um, I just like to print mine onto a piece of paper, makes it super easy. Uh, but you can um, test out the game to your heart's consent. You have four full teams. Uh, you have the full charts. You have the full everything. And what you don't get are the cards that come with it. So uh, if you're playing head-to-head -head against somebody, you can do that. Uh, they're, instead of um, rolling for the play calls, you would um, you have some cards, like individual cards, almost like player cards in a cards and dice baseball game. So you have these individual cards for the play calling. You print out two sets, one for each of you, and you have offensive and defensive cards. And so when you're on offense and defense, you basically just, you know, you, you put down your card, you both flip it over at the same time. And then, uh, the, you would see if there's any sort of offensive or defensive effect. So it gives you that sense of, of coaching against another person and here you're just kind of rolling against whatever the norms are, but there you're actually interacting with another person who, you know, there's more strategy and that type of thing. There's also some momentum cards, which I'm not playing with momentum in this one, but that gives you things like home field advantage or on big plays. Uh, there are different momentum swings that can sort of keep a good team in the game, or it can help you blow out a bad team or just blow out another good team um, because you get the momentum for a long time. And that basically gives you like plus one adjustments uh, for different things. So it can really help and helps to kind of create a little bit more gaminess maybe to the, to the game itself, but uh, adds a different layer. So I would encourage you just to get used to the regular rolling. And then as you add those things in, it's like one more thing to kind of mentally process, but a lot of this stuff becomes sort of old hat and second nature as you get through a half of a game. Uh, so try it out with those four teams. You can at least have three full games and each game is going to take you uh, less than, should take you less than two hours. I've played this first half in less than an hour. So it should take you less than two hours to play a full play by play, uh, choosing every play and rolling for the variables and all the different things. So game plays quickly and it makes a lot of sense. There's only a little bit of math that you kind of have to do in your mind. It's just plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two, uh, in your head. It's not very much. So I think you could play a half once you get used to it. I have to talk on the video. So I think you could play a half in 45 minutes, um, and play a full game in an hour and a half. So I think that that's definitely possible. I also have some, I have an online dice roller that you could use. Um, I don't remember if I put that in the game guide or not, but I'll have to share that with everyone. Maybe I'll put it in the description below, but it's an application online that I have uh, hosted at GitHub. 
that you can use on your phone or your computer. And it has two different, uh, two different applications inside one application. Uh, one application is for a dice roller, which rolls all the dice for you, just like we're doing here, uh, except it does electronically. So if you don't have space or you need to uh, make sure that it's not very loud, um, you can use that dice roller or if you just need, you know, you have bad wrist or whatever, you just tap and, and roll the dice. And then the other half of the application is a, uh, you input these numbers here. So you input their offense and defense and their defense, uh, base defense. And then out of that, it plays a game automatically and simulates the game. So if you wanted to just do, let's say you just want to play Pittsburgh, you want to play their games out but you wanted to simulate the rest of the league. You could do that very easily um, and then take down those scores. Or you could just do a simulation of an entire season uh, with the Steelers and see how close it gets to things. So it's just a uh, another tool, another way for you to do a season replay, basically. Uh, but the application takes into account both teams' offense and defense numbers. And then it runs through the requisite calculations to uh, bring that game to a resolution. It gives you the touchdowns, the field goals, and then the uh, final score. So the score here, you get kind of the line score for the game. If it goes into overtime, it'll play in overtime for you. And then you can see who the winner is in the overtime session as well. So I'll put that link down in the description and uh, you can go check that out. It's kind of... A cool addition to the game and um, if you ever want to learn more about it you can look at the tutorial series that I have here on this channel it's a playlist full of every single part of the game so I've broken the game down into three four five minute chunks uh, explaining how to do each of the different parts of the game basically going through the game manual and taking each section and putting a video to it so if you're more of a video based learner, that's a good way to do it. Or you can read through the game guide, which has pictures and examples and things like that. All right. I think I'll cut it off here. Uh, Pittsburgh 24, six in this playoff game has come out hot in the first half against Jacksonville. And we'll see if they keep it up in the second half. Uh, so be looking for the second half video soon. All right. That's it from here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time.